a lot of dealerships out there when it comes to running the marketing campaigns is kind of like this this one message campaign of just big stuff and that's not necessarily the case so i'd love to hear kind of your thoughts on you know what the message should look like you know to help set up our sales team so that they can socially sell yeah thank you jason i mean at the end of the day it's um there has to be a different message for each phase in that purchase funnel, right? Um, awareness, it's a completely different message when you are telling people who you are. Um, I mean, you have to let them know who you are. The manufacturers um, don't do a great job for you as an individual dealer from an awareness perspective. Um, so, so you have to make sure that you're making people aware that you're in the community um, and you're, you, you exist. And then when you take it a step below, um, you know, for, uh, awareness is, is the consideration phase. And the consideration is, tell me why you are better. T tell me why you're better. Um, and, and that needs to be communicated at a different level. It's different than your awareness message. This is your consideration message. And here's why I'm better. And then comes your purchase message, which you had mentioned earlier, Jason. It's about, you know, here's, here's your um, discount. Here's your, um, your financing rate. Um, and that's the message that you're trying to convey or it's uh, family pricing or it's, but those messages are often the ones that hit first. And then there's a disconnect. So it starts with what Terry was saying on the social side, developing that relationship, generating the awareness. That's a separate message. The consideration, tell me why you're better. That's a separate message. And then you've earned the right to say, not only am I better, here's my pricing. 